HMS Queen Elizabeth is three months into a four-month deployment off the east coast of America. The F-35s can now launch with weapons for the first time. These weapons are laser and GPS guided weapons, uh, but they're actually concrete. So they've got the real front section, the real aft section, but the actual middle section isn't explosive, it's just concrete. For us as testers, we care about the aerodynamic fall, but what we don't concern ourselves about is whether the, the bomb goes bang. Whizzer, the first to execute an SRVL, will be the first to drop bombs from the Queen Elizabeth. We can just test complete mission to launch the jet. Launch the jet. Wizard lines up for his bomb run, and every move is monitored and measured by civilian scientists. I'm getting permission slowly but surely from the ship to do it on this next pass round. Are yeah, you guys ready? They might be inert bombs that Wizzer is carrying, but this is the first time the F-35B has released weapons at sea. The F-35B is about to drop bombs at sea for the first time. The question is, will they release successfully? Releasing in five, four, three, one. Releasing, one, two. Three, four. And all the bombs are away. Looks good here. The fighter jet warship combination is beginning to realize its full lethal potential. That puts us in a very, very sound place to protect ourselves and maintain peace, which ultimately is what it's all about. It's really maintaining the peace. Right? We don't want to use it. I personally don't want to see it used. If it has to be used, oh, I get it. One away, two away. I want it to be seen as the fighter you really don't want to go up against. It's the deterrent to prevent the war and keep the peace. And yeah. that would just be icing on the cake for me. That would be, you know, the cherry on top. That would be perfect. That's where I'd like to be.